We are in a battle for the soul of this nation. It is a battle that is spiritual in nature, and the army which must fight this battle are the people, church, not church gathered, church dispersed. You read a beautiful scripture this, just a moment ago, Second Chronicles 7, 14. And with that I will end and tell you it is never too late. Do not lose hope for this nation. Do not cower from trends that, are, that seem to be overwhelming. Because God said in that Old Testament promise, if my people who are called by my name, it's us, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. There's the responsibility. If you need a checklist to compare your life to, you compare it to that one. Am I humble before God? Am I praying or am I rehearsing words? Am I seeking God in every aspect of my life, in every place I go? Am I looking for God and am I turning from sin? And then God said, listen to this. God said, if my people will do that, that's your job. If we will do our job, then he said, I will. I will hear from heaven. I will forgive your sin, and I will heal, heal your land. Well, let's reverse it. Jeff, if God said, I will do those things, and they aren't happening, it must be because the people in America who call themselves by God's name are not conforming to his instruction. We're in a battle for the soul of this nation. Your services are needed on a front line. When Martin, Private Martin, started digging that foxhole, you have to know that he decided it would cost him everything that was left of his life to take that stand. He said, as an American soldier, I'm no longer going to sacrifice my integrity in a retreat. I am going to fulfill my responsibility, and I will stop that retreat in this place. No matter what, no matter what it costs me, I'm not backing up anymore. I want to say to you as I close that we who are the people of God in this nation need to dig a foxhole. We need to start in our personal integrity, our personal responsibility. In order to follow Christ so often, we have to stop going the other way. We have to stop the retreat. We have to stop our conformity with the flow of things. And we must say, here's where it stops for me. I will no longer sacrifice my integrity, my responsibility. I will follow Jesus on his terms, period. The promise of God is, when we do that, said, I will consider digging a foxhole. Pastor, the service is yours.